Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Eclipse and today we are going to be going over the brand new Dark Arena concept for Clash Royale. Now, as you saw in the beginning of this video, everything looks super professional. It looks really good and that just makes me really excited to share that with you guys. So hopefully you go to enjoy this video. Now, before we do hop into things, I do have to give credit where credit is due because all of this was developed by a small YouTuber named Sardar. Oh, I really hope I'm pronouncing that one right. But it was produced by this guy right here. And he said he worked on this for a few hours a day for two weeks. And he was the only person behind this. So please, if you like what you see, maybe go check out his channel. I'll have it linked in my description below. And if you guys think any of the stuff in this video should be added to Clash Royale, please give the video a like down below. I don't normally set like goals, but screw it. For this one, let's go for 10,000 likes. Likes. You should be able to get it. So uh, yeah, 10k likes don't let me down now The very first thing we will be taking a look at are the three brand new cards So all the way on the left you have the ghost card next to that you have the dark dragon And then on the far right you have the bad cave now all three of these cards are released in the dark arena So throughout this video, I'm gonna showcase the arena I'm gonna showcase all three of the cards and along the way. I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on how I feel about everything that this dude made so first things first we have the dark arena and as you can see it kind of gives off like a little bit of a spooky vibe if you're looking at the cave on the top right hand corner you can see some eyes just kind of like hanging out there and this right here is actually some gameplay of the arena now there won't be any troops in this but you can see there's just kind of like a nighttime vibe it's sort of like a nighttime arena there's some cool little parts Particles floating around there's kind of some eyes blinking in the cave on the top right and the colors just kind of fluctuate sometimes it's a little bit brighter and then other times it gets a little bit darker but the overall theme of this arena is just kind of like a nighttime vibe now my overall thoughts on the arena is that it's pretty damn good considering he made it himself so now we're gonna move on over to the very first card and this is the ghost now the ghost is a legendary card and it does cost five elixir and if you're reading the description on the card it reads floats across the arena invisible underneath its cloak to the enemy until it takes damage then it can be seen spooky now right here we have some gameplay of the ghost in action if you're looking at the bottom it's kind of like a faded figure and remember it says the card is invisible to the enemy until it takes damage so it's just kind of gliding across like the entire arena now right there there is a ghost on the other side you can see he did log that out so right here we have two ghosts the enemy ghost is going to be taking damage soon but if you're looking on the top left that ghost is still invisible and it's just kind of doing like laser beam damage now like I said since this is something he made we can't really see like the health on the tower but still it's nice to see like the card in action and for the most part like the card looks pretty badass now my overall opinion on this card, I don't think it should be 100% invisible to the enemy. Like I feel like there should be like a happy median because I know if I was just chilling playing this game, what if the enemy put like a ghost down and mirrored the ghost and then cloned it? I don't see anything and then the next thing you know, there's like six of these ghosts on my tower and at that point, you're pretty much screwed and there's not much you can do. So I like the concept of the card, but of course, if it was actually added to class, I feel like there needs to be some tweaks moving on to the next card though This is the dark dragon now the dark dragon is another legendary card and this one costs seven elixir The description on it reads she flies around the arena with medium speed every six seconds She lays a fragile egg if left untouched that egg will grow into another dark dragon Spooky now if you're looking at the bottom You can see a friendly dark dragon and then on the top right you can see the enemy dark dragon both of those did lay the their eggs and remember if the egg is left untouched that spawns into another dark dragon so you can see we have four dark dragons on the map right now the egg ones are a little bit smaller but they do grow into like a bigger regular dark dragon so as you can see this card looks pretty insane it shoots like a massive blast at the tower and I feel like this egg concept again maybe a little bit overpowered but it definitely is awesome so my overall 
opinion on the Dark Dragon is similar to the Ghost. I really like the card, I really like the concept, but I feel like this can be really, really overpowered very quickly. Like, imagine you put one down, mirror it, then clone those. You're gonna have like a million dragons just around the map, and that is not something that I look forward to dealing with. But we are now moving on to the final card, and this is the Bat Cave. So the Bat Cave is an epic card for 4 Elixir, and essentially it's just a bat spawner. Some of you might be like, well, Eclipse, isn't that kind of similar to the Night Witch? And yes, I agree, but this is just like a spawner purely for bats. So the description reads, bats emerge periodically from the darkness of the Bat Cave. Watch out. Now, unfortunately, there is no gameplay of this card, but I do have this little picture here and I'm sure you can use your imagination we've already seen two of these cards in the arena and since you already know what bats are like I don't think it would be too hard to like picture bats coming out of this cave now as far as my thoughts go on this one I actually don't have too much to complain about we already have a lot of spawners inside of Clash Royale and the fact that bats aren't like a super overpowered card I don't think this would be like too big of a deal this right here is just kind of like the main menu and the whole concept of the game so once this golden chest is away you'll see what I mean but look at the arena you can see there is the dark arena on his main menu now at this point he's just opening up some chests just to show kind of like how the arena would act in game now this here is just gonna be how the new cards look in game so he's scrolling down to the very bottom and you can see it says coming soon and it shows the dark dragon the ghost and it shows the bat cave or like like the bat nest now of course whenever it shows coming soon the cards are usually black and white so in theory it would probably look something more like this but it's still nice to see how these cards would potentially look in the game now guys that is everything I have to show you for today's video remember special shout out to Sardar for making all of this possible he put weeks into this project so me giving him a shout out is like the least I can do now if you haven't left a comment yet on this video please leave one letting me know what your favorite of the three cards are if I had to pick a favorite for myself I would probably say the ghost just because it's like so unique it's an invisible card and then once you hit it like it'll be able to take damage but if you never hit the card it's just gonna be like completely invisible and I thought his attack animation was pretty damn awesome like it was just shooting laser beams out of its eyes I don't know you might have thought it was stupid but personally I thought that was pretty awesome and one thing I just remembered is I am repping that Eclipse merch today So if you like this or if you want to check out my other items I'll have that linked at the top of my description as well, but guys this has been Eclipse I just want to give one last shout out to Sardar remember he's the real MVP But I don't think I have anything else to say for today's video. So peace out